Hello guys and welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. Today we are going to discuss about the solutions of contest 366, lead code weekly contest 366. This video is going to be very quick because I have to leave for airport. I have a flight, but then also I have some half an hour. So I'm making this video, right? Uh, I was not able to solve the third question of this contest. I tried a lot, uh, like uh, I, I was able to solve the first, like first, second and fourth question in the first half an hour. And for the remaining one hour, I was just trying the third question, but by the way, I was not able to do. I think there was some corner case that was remaining. So for that, I will absolve it and I will upload the video, but it will be quite late, maybe by evening because, you know, I have to first travel. Okay. So for this particular video, we'll discuss about the problem number first, second and fourth of lead code weekly contest 366. Okay. Cool. So first is the problem divisible and non-divisible sub sums difference. This is a very basic problem where they are saying there is a value n and there is a value m given to you. You have to first find all the numbers which are not divisible by m in this range and the numbers which are divisible by m in this particular range. So what you will do here? You will simply take a loop from 1 to n. First you will find the sum of numbers which are non-divisible or which are divisible which is num2 and which are non-divisible num1 and you will simply output the difference. So I think and everyone was able to solve this particular problem. It was a really 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 easy problem right? Cool. Next is a problem called minimum processing time. So this is a problem where you have n processors and each have four cores and n into four tasks. So basically what they are saying is that there are n processors. Let's say one, two, three, four, five up to n. And every processor has four cores. Four cores means it can process four tasks simultaneously. Right. And there are actually n into four tasks. So we have to basically divide these n into four tasks to all the cores of the processor. So they are saying which processor should have which task such that the processing time is minimum. And for every processor, there is a processor start time also represent. Like if there are two processors, so the first processor will start at 8, second processor will start at 10. And these are the time of the task. Okay. So if you will see, let's say that the processor time is 8 comma 10. And task that is given to here is 2, 2, 3, 1, 8, 7, 4, 5. Okay. So you can see one thing here. You can see one thing here that this particular thing, this particular array, if you have first processor 8, which is coming at 8, and this is processor 10, which is coming late. So this second processor is coming late. The second processor is coming after the first processor. Right means it will start late, but the first processor will start early. So, and we want minimum time so that all the tasks are completed. So the processor, which is starting early, we should allocate the greater, like higher task to that processor. Let's say yellow processor at time pe start ho gaya. Is kuch jada time mil raha hai. This processor is having more time to run because ye baad mein execute hoga. This processor is having two unit of more time to execute. So what we will do, we will allocate higher uh, task to this. Higher task means a task which will have more time. So you can see these four tasks are having more time. So this I will allocate to this and the minimum task I will allocate to this. Because this will start late. It will have less time to execute. Right? So similarly what we are doing, first I will sort this uh, uh, processor array, which is already sorted here. And this second array. We will sort both the arrays. Now I am reversing this array so that maximum element comes first. Now first n I am pairing to this. Sorry. First n elements are pairing to 8. Second n elements I am pairing to 10. If there are more, I will pair to the next processor. Now this processor will start at 8 and these are the task timing. So this task will end at 8 plus 8, 16. This will end at 15, 13 and 12. Here 13, 12, 12 and 11. So maximum time will be 16. So 16 will answer. So what we are doing? We are simply first sorting the processor time. Then we are sorting task time. Then we are reversing it. So that it is sorted in reverse order. Okay, I am directly doing it. Now for every task i, I am taking next 4. Like starting from i into 4. Next 4 task. I will go into that processor and finding the max of it. You can see. Max of the sum. Right. This is what we are doing here. 
you can by the way directly also find the answer i had that nothing uh, a different thing you can directly use answer here by the way i will provide this code in my telegram channel so you guys can join my telegram channel if you want the code of all these solutions okay the link is in description cool so this is the second problem it is also like a brute force problem it's a quick uh, editorial guys because i have to leave okay uh, next we are having this problem called uh, array operations on array uh, apply operations on array to minute, maximize sum of square so guys this particular problem is that you have to choose two indices such that you have to first take one number as the and of both and second number as the or of both guys this problem is little bit cool let me first explain the logic of this problem so let's say the question the questions are 2 6 5 8 so you have to perform any number of operations to this but the thing is finally you have to choose k values and you have to find a square of it and that is square sum should be maximum right this is the problem so guys what we will do see there is a very basic probability of and and or i told it everyone whenever i teach the basic probability is let's say we are having first number as this second number as this so you know that a and b plus a or b is equal to a plus b this is the first probability that a and b and a or b is equal to a plus b it means if you will add two numbers and all two numbers sum of that is equal to the sum of two numbers now we want the square right so let's find a square of them let's find a square of them let's call it as x let's call it as y so x plus y is equal to a plus b right x plus y is equal to a plus b and you have to find the sum of squares you can achieve maximum sum of squares right means you have to find the square of these numbers so if you will square two numbers simply like a square plus b square and if you will square two numbers after finding their or so there will be a difference you will see after finding the, the and and or the numbers are becoming greater one number will become greater you can you can see one thing if i will make 4 square plus 4 square it will give you 32 but if i will do 7 square plus 1 square it will give you 50 so you can see here a and b is same here also it's same but if you are doing the square of their and and or it is a higher value let me give you one more example let's say a is 2 b is 5 so 2 means 0 1 0 this is a and b is 1 0 1 so if you will simply square a square plus b square it will come 4 plus uh, 25 29 but if you will first find the or of it or will come 7 and then you will find the and of it which will come 0 so 7 square plus 0 square will be 49 so this is greater so means if you are simply doing the square of two numbers but instead you are doing the and is square and or is square it's a better way so means first of all it will give you a better value now one more thing when we and and or two numbers the sum of bit in the and and or are same you can see there are total three bits in a and b here and three bits also in their and and or collectively let's take two different example let's say a is this and b is this so what we will do let's say this so if you will find the or of it or so or will be this and 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 will be this so you can see total there are four bits in a and b and there are also four bits in the and of a and b just the thing is just the thing is i think the or and and are equal sorry let me take a different example let's take this let's take this one so you can see after finding this it's or will be this and its and will be this so you can see here also we have five bits here also we have five bits so number of bits remain same if you take a and b and they are or and and but just the position of bits are changed and because the position of bits are changed one number becomes greater and one number becomes smaller you can see when when a was two and five when i have two and five when I take an and an or, so or became greater than 2 and 5, or became 7, and and became less than them. Right? So, what we can do for two numbers, instead finding simply square of two numbers, which will just give you a square plus b square, just like 29 here. What you can do? 
you can find their and and or then find the square it will give you the better value and we also know that number of bits in and and square are same so is what we are doing what we are doing is first of all we are finding the total number of bits in all the numbers so let's say let's say that the numbers that we are having is 16 9 18 3 mein kitne bits hain 18 is 10010 is 01001 5 is 00101 okay if you will find the number of bits let's take one more number here 25 okay so it will be 25 is 16 then 8 and 1 so if you will find the total number of bits right so here there are three bits at this index here there are two bits here one here one here three so there are th these bits and let's say value of k is 2 value of k is 2 so you will try to take as much maximum number you want so the two numbers that you will take as there are three set bits you will try to make the first bit of both the numbers true because there are three set bits so you can take that two from here also you can take that two from here you can just take one bit here you can take one bit and here also you can take two bits so these are the two numbers that are possible you simply find the value of these numbers this is nothing but uh, uh, 31 this is nothing but 25 and then find the square of it that is the answer right this is a there is a very basic so this problem was also present in geeks for geeks this is very is we have to do a very slight change in this so i will save the article of that gfg also in my telegram or in my linkedin also you guys can refer that also for better idea but this is the quick solution of this problem so what i did i first calculated for each index how many bits are present so for each index how many bits are present we are calculating okay now we want k numbers right we want k numbers so we are taking k bits for example here there were three bits but we just want two so we are making two numbers out of the, that k bits we don't want all the three bits we just want two bits of right so for every if the number of bits are greater than zero we'll take it for example here the number of it was one and one so we can take it just once after that it, it, it will become zero so next we, will, we can just take zero so if we are taking one sub bit we are making it decrease and finally we are making the square ka sum okay so this is the logic i will save the uh, code for all the three problems in the uh, telegram i know guys that today's solutions were very fast because you know i have to leave early today so if you have any doubt right you can you can like quickly uh, uh, ask me on linkedin i will post this on linkedin also you can reply to that post and ask me the doubts or you can also join my telegram discussion channel where you can ask the doubts related to all any of these three problems. For the third problem guys, I will solve it once. Okay, I will solve this third problem once uh, and then I will tell you uh, what is the solution. Okay, uh, because I was not having time, I have to conclude the contest early and I was not able to solve the problem. Okay, so that's all uh, That's all for this video guys. Do join the telegram and subscribe to the channel for all these videos. Thanks a lot.